obviously it had to be holding it. One thing that is really bugging me is that goddamn light over there. I think there's something is wrong with the trunk, door, hatch, whatever. Most likely the lock part. So I'll take a look at that. And by the way, I did bring the car to this location because there's a bit more space. Yeah, so back to the trunk part. Well, I fixed it. It was the lock mechanism with the key. What the frick is that called? Hmm. You know that video what I had up uh, where you change the lock, and uh, I said you can super glue the key part or the key unlocking part into the lock mechanism, and that I didn't do it. Well, uh, yeah, that's that was the problem. So I will go back and do it. Here's the 2.0 liter Golf number three, or Golf Mark three actually. Do kind of like the sound of that. Okay then. What I really wanted to do in this video is pull my chair back, and I was really thinking about the possibilities of 3D printing. 3D printing what? Well, let's take a look. At this part. Basically these are the worst cup holders you can ever have in a car and uh, I might be able to improve them by 3D printing something in them. So I will look into that. The next thing would be this thingy. I actually have a surprise project with this thingy. Well, at I kind of doubt it, but I really hope it will work. And yeah, I would like to fix this thing because it should have a spring somewhere. So when you pull it out, it opens up. But the point here is that you can remove this part. So the this yeah and this looks like that and I could actually 3d print something that goes over here and does something like where's my phone something like this unfortunately when I'm driving I'm not sure but I kind of place the camera where my eye is, where my right eye is, but don't really see it. So it should be moved there. It would be doable, but weird. On the other hand, I could do a phone holder somewhere over there, but uh, that's kind of like the last thing I would bother doing because I have this. Well, not, not, uh, yeah, why I have two lighters in my car, I have no freaking idea why I have two lighters in my car, but this space, why do I keep chewing gum in an ashtray, I have no fucking idea why I do that, so, this space here, I'd say, it would be kind of ideal, to have because there is enough space here to have a bottle but unfortunately that bottle would tumble left and right unless it is held by a thing that keeps it on the other hand 
if I don't have an ashtray here, or even if I have it, I might be able to make a rear 12 volt socket for the rear passengers. That would be interesting. So yeah, bottle holder, cup holders, and maybe some phone holder. So I went ahead and removed the center console. Because that way I can figure out a bit better what I actually want to print to it and I can measure more exactly than playing around with it here in the car and uh, that's that's the project for today. So, what the hell is it? Here? It's a weird solution. Anyway, so I will be leaving for a Ford meeting and close to Brasov in about 11 days from now. Today is Sunday, the how much? 17th of June. And I'm not sure when this video will go up, so yeah. Hopefully I will see a few interesting things around there. We'll get some inspiration and well, anyway, I will get back with a uh, video. Actually, you know what? I had this thingy here that broke into many pieces. It would also be a good idea to print. Hmm. And they do have a lumbar support that's also broken. Oh, I should look into that. Anyway, so I will bring this thing and this thing with me uh, back up into my apartment and uh, let's see what we can prototype. Okay then, see you in the whenever.